here is Point Pleasant Boardwalk, another little boardwalk. You're not going to find the same level of awesomeness as Seaside, but let's go check it out. Looks like there's some kind of obstacle course up here. Hmm, that would be interesting. Let's go see. Just paying for parking. Oh, I guess, what do I do with this? Hmm. I don't know, I'm supposed to put this on my car, I guess. Yeah, you gotta put the money in the meter and you could get um, a ticket, I guess. Put it in the car. All right, let's put this in the car so that we don't get a ticket for parking here. You gotta pay for everything in New Jersey. Pay to get on the beach, pay to park, pay to drive on the road, tolls everywhere. This, this state is a money extraction machine. I mean, it's wild. Like uh, the main road where you drive, it's called the Garden State Parkway. And um, one of the things, if you know people are from New Jersey because they don't say, um, where do you live? They say, what exit are you from? Because the exits go, I think, from one to 170. And so everybody identifies by uh, how those numbers. So I say, oh yeah, 135 or exit 98. But, um, but when you're driving on that road, you have to stop and pay um, money every, I think, 30 miles or so. And those rules were only supposed to be there. Um, those were only supposed to be there for temporary till they paid for the roads. And of course, like anything, once you give people power and you give them money, that was they're still there permanently. Oh, look at this! Wow! Looks like some kind of torture device. It's very fun. I mean, there's all kids on here, but that looks like fun for adults, too. Adventure, adventure lookout. Interesting. All right, let's see what we got going on on the boardwalk. So this is Point Pleasant, New Jersey. Um, this is the uh, final boardwalk that we're going to look at and review. It's pretty nice, smaller than the other one we were at, but they have something a lot of the other boardwalks don't have. They have real palm trees. Now, wherever you're living, you might think palm trees are not a big deal, but that's very rare here because it gets cold in the winter. So these palm trees are genetically modified um, so that they can survive the winter. And I was reading about it they could cost upwards of $20,000 for one tree because I don't know how they did it, but they modified the tree's DNA. I don't know what this thing is. So it lives in the winter. And I could, I'm just going by what some guy told me. I don't even know how true that is. Oh, this is a good uh, thumbnail right here. Thumbnail. I don't know what's going on here. It's like a bunch of kids. Oh, look at this. Oh, that carpet also makes me sick. Whoa. That thing. The thing hanging from that. All right, let's get out of here. This place is gonna give me a, a I don't know, panic attack. It's crazy. What is this? Seizure, that's the word I was looking for. It's gonna give me a seizure from all the crazy lights. Oh, look at this. Some kind of balloon game. Interesting. Wow. But yeah, um, one of the things that you'll learn about Point Pleasant is that it is a more, it's the most family-friendly boardwalk in all of Seaside. 
I mean, look at this. What family doesn't want to eat apples? Now you can't see in there, but these are some apples dipped in chocolate. That's what families want. I still can't get over these palm trees. I mean, I've never saw a palm tree when I was a kid until I traveled. And, uh, oh, these birds are upset. Oh, it's the fight, domestic violence. Oh, they love each other. Hey guys, what is wrong? Are you guys fighting? I've never seen a whinier bird. Look, he's like walking away from her. I don't want to talk to you anymore, Julie. Come on, get over it. I love you, baby. No, stop your whining. Come on, give me a kiss. This is wild. All right, anyway, enough of that game. All right, what else do we got going on here? More palm trees. It's starting to actually, uh, starting to get, whoa, got some kind of train. It's starting to get cold here. Um, that's one of the reasons why I moved. Oh, let's see, some information over here. Charles Jenkinson built a large open pavilion in the quiet shore town of Point Pleasant Beach. It featured a candy shop, soda fountain, refreshment stand, and a large saltwater swimming pool in 1928. Later, additions included a dance hall and a mini golf course. Wow, well, that's how it used to look. I like these old, old pictures. But yeah, what I was saying though was when I was a teenager, it got so cold and we wanted to do something in the water in the fall. So we actually, it was my friend Jimmy's idea, but we, we uh, his house had a very large yard. And um, in that yard, we decided to make a hot tub. And by the make a hot tub, what I'm trying to say is, is that we uh, dug a hole in the backyard and we ran a ho we hooked the hose to the hot water in the house and we put some plastic tarp in the um, hole. And it was maybe like 10 feet wide, four feet deep, and we filled it up and we all went in it. And I don't know how we managed this, but we actually, Later on that day, we went out and we met some girls and we got these, these girls to come back home with us and go into this. We told them we had a hot tub and we brought them to this uh, <laughs> mud hole because the tarp actually fell in. So the tarp was what was blocking the water from the mud. And um, I'm gonna turn around, there's nothing down here. The tarp was blocking the uh, water from the mud Oh wait, look at this guy. Okay. Zoltar. Wow. Hmm. But yeah, so we, we told the girls that we had a hot tub and we said, yeah, come hang out, check out this hot tub. And they got to his backyard and they're like, what is this? And we were like, it's a hot tub. And they were like, it looks like a muddy hole. Well, the one girl was more adventurous and she touched the water and she was like, Jenny, or whatever the girl's name was, I don't remember. She was like, um, uh, wow, look at these stuff, all this chocolate. I guess that's like the thing here. Um, this girl was like, Jenny or Julie, whatever, come on in the water, it's not that bad. And these girls, they're pretty cool actually. They went in the water and it was just this muddy hole of water we're swimming in. 
So whoever tells you that you need to get rich to have fun and have a hot tub, you don't. All you need is a shovel and a hose. Um, but yeah, that's really much it. Here's some more beach. Ah, it's a holiday weekend. It's pretty dead here. I don't know why. There is um, an aquarium here. There is uh, there is uh, arcades, obviously. There is um, a fun house, like a mirror maze, where you go in and it's all mirrors. Hmm. Well, that guy was just saying hermit crab. There's like these little crabs they sell. They'll crawl out of their shell and they'll go into any shell that you want. And um, so they sell them here. They sell these little crab creatures. I kind of feel bad for them because, I mean, like these little creatures, like why are you selling them on the boardwalk? Like that's kind of messed up. Like I don't really think that people are gonna take care of a crab very well. They bought on them. This is pretty much like a fair. But anyway. Hmm. Now what? What to do? All right. Yeah. So. In a couple days, I'm driving back to Florida because this time of year it starts getting cold here and I'm, I'm not into the cold. Like once in a while is fine, but more, you know, one of the, you know, worse than the cold is actually the clouds. Like I mean, this is an unheard of summer. It's beautiful out, but actually in New Jersey, um, you don't really have a lot of sunny days. Oh, that scared me. Jeez. See, family friendly. Now this place over here, that's called, uh, what's that called? Tiki bar. It's a little beach bar. Maybe we can go in there. Let's check that out. Tiki bar. Let's see what this is all about. Asking for ID. Yeah, like, listen, I used to, when I was younger, okay. I used to take it, I used to take a shower with it. I brought it in the bars. Yeah. But we need a wristband or something. Oh. Do I need a wristband or something? Guys, go in. You can't have that in. Oh, no, no phone? No, you can't have it like all hooked up to that. Like oh. phone on you, but we don't have okay. like video recording devices. Oh, no worries. It's more like one with it hooked up like that. <laughs> okay, yeah, no worries. You know I got it. Mean? Okay. But yeah. All right, so much for that. Too loud in there anyway. That's a little disappointing, to be honest with you. Well, we can check out something else. And I finally talked to somebody on a video without turning the camera down. I don't think, I think I got it in the shot. Hmm, that's very disappointing. That would have been a good video. I tried to put this down. This is kind of the inside of this place. Wow, that's really too bad that I couldn't bring this in there. That would have been a really good place to make a video. Hmm. I don't know. I'm kind of disappointed, guys. 
that was my plan to go in there. So this is gonna be a really short video because there ain't much more to do here. Now here we go with the music again. Oh, that's cool. Look at this arcade game. That's a big ass screen. It's pretty cool. I guess they gotta step it up with games because the old video games aren't aren't cutting it anymore. Let's see if we can go in here with the camera. Oceanside. Yeah, so I used to come here also. They had like a big night here with a bunch of people. I came here on New Year's Eve once. I think my friend got in a fight. My friends used to be crazy. They were like, mostly be nice. Nobody would ever purposely try to start fights. But as you can see, this is a big nightclub. Wow, yeah, it's still here. Yep. The thing is though, is that other place, they had stuff going on. Oh wait. There's some stuff going on in here, too. I'm surprised they don't want the camera in there, because if you think about it, it's good promotion. Oh, there's some live music here. That's cool. I think this is all new. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to Jenks on the beach. That's what's up. Right here with DNA. DNA. Oh, yes. Here we go. We are on the street, and you can know we made it through the storm. I really want you to be nice. I really want to tell you all. I'm searching for someone to satisfy. I wonder if this video sounds it doesn't even seem like New Jersey. Yeah, well, you got the idea. See the water. Some good stuff over here, too. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I like those drums. Steel drums. Yeah, just nice little hangout spot. Not bad. Nice people. And they let us come in with the camera. But yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm not more talkative, guys. I just kind of got thrown off with that whole don't bring a camera in thing. I mean, like, what's that all about? Like, I feel like any business should want as much videos as possible. Unless they're hiding something. Oh, look at this. They got all these tropical plants. Now these 100% die. But then again, they have the pots in the ground. Wow, very nice though. They probably take them out, but these will not live through the winter in New Jersey. And uh, the Farmer's Almanac is saying it's gonna be a brutal winter. Um, that's one of the uh, ways they predict weather here. Excuse me. Oh, sorry, man. That's all right. They use something called the Farmer's Almanac. It, it, you could predict a year ahead, but it's not a very good accuracy. Um, what you could do with that is um, they look at things like the habits of uh, bugs and I think raccoons and squirrels and you observe their behavior. I think it has something to do with if you see like, for example, squirrels doing certain things with nuts and things like that. They could calculate that as being, if it's gonna be 
a lot of winter, a lot of snow, or maybe it's gonna be a very mild winter. And they're saying that, you know, all the indicators are saying it's gonna be freezing here. Another reason why I'm just gonna bounce and get back to Florida. Okay. You know, I realized something. Okay. A lot of... Uh, your number is 7 and your number is 13. A lot of vloggers are... Um, they're always talking about not being able to film and getting very frustrated. I mean, I've heard there's entire countries in Africa where you can't film. Um, so, like I get, like my frustration of not being able to go into this tiki bar place it's pretty, uh, like now I understand what those guys are always talking about. So let's say 7.30. Like you have a plan, like I thought maybe I would set the tripod up and then like sit there and then maybe somebody would start talking and you know, I had a whole idea. That's all right though, no worries. I actually don't really feel like doing that anyway. You ever notice how your mind tries to find excuses for things that are hard? like? I'm gonna keep bringing up the same example, talking to people on camera. Oh wow, look at this weird photo booth. Interesting. It goes like around. Whoa. This is a crazy photo booth. LCD screens all over it. Wow. Interesting. But yeah, I feel like your mind makes excuses up all the time, like anything that's really, oh, look at this. Remember that you get like the thing and then Mario turns into that? Like you make, a, back to the other subject, you make up excuses all the time for anything that's difficult, but I find if you just go right through those excuses and do what you want to do anyway, then you build up like uh, resilience to doing your fears. And for me, it's, it's talking to people on video. And it's not necessarily that I'm afraid of talking to people, but it's just, you gotta, you gotta be, I think, conditioned to this. Otherwise, you're gonna feel like, I mean, I don't know, what do you guys think? Like, is it weird if somebody walked up to you with a camera and said, hey, and just started talking? I don't know. I would say leave it in the comments, but my followers don't leave comments for some reason. <laughs> All right, guys, that was it. This was a short video. As I said, that whole thing that just happened, but um, now you know what Point Pleasant's like. Let's get back to the car and get out of here. Bye.